thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot, and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or anywhere in your birth chart that Libra might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take just a second and invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, my PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon. I think you guys will like. Okay, so this reading is for August the 24th through the 31st, 2020. Keeping in mind that all tarot readings are timeless, so whether you come across this reading right after I upload, a week, month, or even a year from now, if you feel drawn to watch it, most likely you'll find a message for you within the reading. And if you feel like it doesn't completely resonate with you, just keep the parts that do, disregard the rest, and if you know your other planetary placements, you can listen to those signs as well for additional messages. Okay, so let's go ahead and calibrate these cards to the astrological sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, and ask our angels, guides, and ancestors for any love messages for Libra for the week of the 24th through the 31st, 2020. Spirit, what love messages do you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the week of the 24th through the 31st of August, 2020? Spirit, what love messages do you have for Libra? And I'm going to shuffle one more time. And you can divide these into three stacks. card on the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords, so typical of Libra, all right, and this Queen of Swords uh, is your overall energy for this reading, and it's kind of, you know, as we go through your spread, I'm going to show you how this card's going to relate to the other cards that come up, but basically, the Queen of Swords is somebody who's been through a lot. Uh, she might have a lot of sorrow within her, but at the same time, she's still very loving and protective, and protective of herself as well, uh, kind of a no-nonsense, and when, <clears throat> because she's been through uh, things that are uh, toxic or uh, that weren't quite so pleasant before, she has the ability to recognize these things, okay? And, uh, you know, recognize the red flags and cut this out before it goes any further, okay? All right, so for those of you who are new here, I do four rows, and the first row um, pertains to you. Uh, the second row is the same thing, only it's for your twin flame, soulmate, karmic partner, divine counterpart, uh, might be an ex, could be somebody you've just met. The third row is about obstacles and challenges and our inner fears and anxieties, uh, things that are blocking us from moving forward, keeping us from moving forward. Uh, now, for those, for those of you who are new here, I'm going to continue to explain a little more. I put out two cards in each of the rows, and I will do this two more times for a grand total of 24 cards. So by the time we get to the end of the reading after 24 cards, we have a pretty good feel about what's going to be going on for the week. So again, more very typically Libra cards here. We have Justice, Major Arcana, big decisions coming along. And with the King of Swords, this means that we're going to be able to be a little bit logical and use our heads over our hearts, okay? Uh, more of that Queen of Swords feeling. You don't want to be going through some of the things that you have gone through before. You don't want to feel as if, uh, you know, you have uh, have to, uh, you know, relive those types of experiences that you've had before. Uh, like I was saying before, you're able to recognize uh, BS when you see it and you know, just eliminate it from your life before it gets any worse. With your partner, you have the Six of Wands as well as the Five of Wands, okay? All right, so, you know, the Six of Wands means if you, if you pursue, if you are diligent, if you uh, are intent on moving forward, uh, which I really believe you are because you're being in this uh, position where you are eliminating a lot of the chaos and the crap 
from your life basically and this five of wands is about uh, being in situations with people where there's just like a lot of this little petty arguing uh, you know haters that type of thing uh, people who are just wanting to stir up a hornet's nest in your life you know and I, I <laughs> whoever stirs the pot gets to lick the spoon okay so if they want to stir that pot up and you know what's in that pot that's what they get to have all right and with this you're going to be successful and you know kind of take the high road when this when it comes to the situation and just let them deal just let them deal with whatever it is whatever kind of resentment or bitterness or uh, you know that hater mentality that they have towards you just let them have it all right now your uh, obstacles and challenges uh, fears and anxieties you have this tower where you know things it's at some point had fallen completely apart in your life and you felt really uh, disrupted like everything just fell apart everything that you knew to be normal is just not that way anymore and it's been that way for the entire planet right now but uh, this is more on a personal level so uh, you know recognizing that it was for the best you are now able to uh, you know envision a future that you want he's sitting there holding this globe like it's a crystal ball and he says two wands and twos are always about making those decisions so this this little guy here is like uh, you know looking forward to the future kind of picturing what it is he wants from his life and and uh, how he wants to get there all right now in your outcome you have the emperor as well as the wheel of fortune and again so many major arcana cards showing up in these readings today well you know you you very well could have someone that is in your life that might be uh, kind of a mentor maybe a father figure this could even be a potential mate or a husband or uh, someone like that but with their advice and with their guidance you're going to find that your luck is changing and there's going to be uh, new ideas uh, moving forward uh, you know whether this is career or you know a completely brand new relationship that you never really even thought of before but you know the, t the things kind of go together anyway now when we get to your second set of cards we have the four of swords for you as well as the ten of swords all right in your uh, partners column we have that ten of wands as well as the three of wands in your obstacles and challenges you have the Hermit as well as the Knight of Cups and in your outcome you have the Four of Swords as well as the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, you know, you had that tower earlier, everything fell apart, you felt totally hurt and betrayed and you know, you made it through that. Those tens are about these ends of cycles uh, that we're going through. You had that wheel of fortune, everything's changing. It means you're able to go past this. You know, you know you, you're not in a constant state, a perpetual state of being hurt. You're able to learn those lessons and move on, which is where this Queen of Swords comes in. You know, we were talking about she's somebody who's been through a lot of hurts and a lot of sorrows, and she's able to use those experiences and move on through her life. So this Four of Swords is like somebody who's been very, very pensive about the things that are going on. I, I always think it's a little bit of like, um, what is it called? Post-traumatic stress, PTSD. You see three swords over him and he's resting and he's relaxing and he's thinking about the things and the traumas he's been through. Okay? But he still has this one by his side. It's like sleeping with a with something under your pillow for protection at night, you know, so you can grab it easy. So he's not quite relaxed, he's not quite there. These things still bother you and hurt you a little bit, but you're you are finding that you're able to move on. Now when it comes to a partner in your life, whether you have one that you're thinking of or you are uh, you know hoping to find a new partner. 
it's time to put these hurts down and care you know not carry these burdens with you anymore you don't have to uh, you know carry that with you like I was saying before it's not a perpetual state of being hurt you don't have to stay in that trauma you don't have to hold see how tightly he's holding on and he's carrying with him and they're so cumbersome and it's such a burden Tens, like I said, tens are ends of cycles. It's time to put this down and to move past it and to be able to look forward to that future that you want in your life. And, uh, you know, you had that two, you had that two of wands earlier where he's envisioning it. And now that you're doing the work, you're actually looking forward. You find that you're looking forward to it. You're kind of waiting for these things to uh, actually manifest in your life. So with these obstacles and challenges, of course, you might be feeling a little emotional. You might be putting that out there. Uh, you know, you might be uh, maybe verbalizing or talking so much about the hurt that you've been through. Uh, but that's kind of keeping the past in the present, so to speak. With this Hermit card, it means that you need to take time and re-examine how you got to where you are now and where it is you want to go in the future and with this knowledge of how you got to where you are you can use this to your benefit moving forward uh, like that queen of swords recognizing those red flags and being able to you know avoid certain paths you know use what do they say about the definition of insanity okay yeah, so you don't want to keep doing the same thing. So when we have the Four of Pentacles, this tells me that you, know, you might still be holding on to this a little bit. It's on your mind, it's in your heart, and you've got your feet holding these coins down, and you are, you know, you're really hanging on. Now, with this Page of Swords, this may mean that, you know, you're still looking back to the past. You might still be wondering what this person is doing. You might still be checking their social media or for looking for little clues here and there or maybe uh, information that uh, is, you know, so you, so you can know what's kind of going on to your, in your life. You're wanting to move on. You really and truly are, but you still have that Ten of Wands uh, thing going on and it's really time to think about going ahead and, and just putting that down and completely moving on. Now in your last set of cards here we have the devil as well as the two of cups. In your partner's column we have that five of cups and the nine of wands. Okay. You put down one of them. Okay. In your obstacles and challenges, you have the Ace of Cups as well as the Seven of Wands. And in your outcome, you have the Magician and you have the Two of Swords. So this reading looks like it's all about lessons learned and stuff. You as a Libra, you need a partner that is more balanced, that has, uh, you know, uh, this sense of uh, respect for the relationship, mutual respect, where you both have respect for each other as well. And I'm not talking about being fuddy dilly or boring. I'm just talking about respecting those bounds that relationships require. Uh, you're coming from something that was very toxic and very codependent, and you are finally free of it, and you are happy to have moved on. Uh, and at the same time, you know, where you have uh, the devil presiding over this relationship, feeling like you're bound to them and you're bonded with them, you know, this union is blessed by an angel and it's uh, a much, a much more, um, it's a feeling that you have much more uh, freedom and you can relax more in this relationship. So of course, you're still mourning a little bit over this relationship. There is these two cups here behind you and here they are. So there is new love that's waiting for you, but you've got to be able to not carry all of your hurts from your past relationship into the new relationship. So like I was like joking around a minute ago, you had that 10 of wands, now you have the nine of wands. But you know, you're not carrying them with you, but you're kind of on high alert. You're kind of walking on eggshells. You're kind of on the lookout for any of these, like we were talking about earlier, red flags in a situation where you can, you know, quickly eliminate yourself from that so you don't have to find yourself going through those uh, emotions anymore. 
So definitely the uh, Ace of Cups and your uh, obstacles and challenges, you definitely have so much love that you are wanting to give and, and receive in your life, but at the same time, you're kind of you're kind of finding yourself defensive. You're kind of finding yourself where you're feeling like you have to explain why you are so quick to eliminate so much from your life. And in your final outcome, you have the Magician as well as the Two of Swords. So this Two of Swords tells me it's a continuation of that King of Swords as well as that Queen of Swords and that Justice card that you had. This is like being able to, uh, you know, use your head over your emotions to make the decisions that you need. And with this magician, it tells me that you now have all the skills that you need to create a healthy relationship in your life that is full of the correct boundaries and not to find yourself uh, in a codependent relationship where you're constantly either being used, berated, belittled, uh, you know, cheated on, lied to, disrespected, that type of thing. And so you have you have the ability within yourself because whatever you are putting out there into the universe, that's what you're going to receive back. So if you are very intent on this whole reading has been about, you know, just eliminating those things from your life. So if you are working on eliminating those things in your life, you also have to project that you are worthy and uh able to receive the type of love that you want in your life because with the law of attraction whatever that you put out there into the universe that is exactly what you receive back okay all right guys i love you thank you so much for watching and all of your likes shares subscribes i really appreciate that and i want you to know that i read every single uh comment and respond to every email that you guys send me and I love you guys so much. And I will be here next week with your September reads. And until then, I will see you soon. All right. Bye-bye. I love you.